Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here, getting ready to take out the Italian CR32 in our arcade. Uh, first thing we can do is we moved our planes around to put it in the first slot because it has the most crew points, so it'll be easier to spade there. Um, first thing to do, you can see this star is open. There's nothing in there. So we're going to go ahead and expert our crews across the board. So now you'll see those have uh, like a silver inside the star. And then when you ace it, it'll actually be gold. So you can do that either by purchasing it or you can actually earn it just by flying the plane a lot and doing well in it. So um, in case anybody cares, might as well look at it while we're here. So this is where like it starts to go from expert to ace. You can see we have just a tiny bit of that, but it shows you the difference in uh, what the price drops down to depending on how many RP you've earned with it. All right, so all in all, I really like this plane. Um, we've flown it out a little bit as a secondary, so we do have the stealth ammo now. It's a reserve, so it came with a lot of the modifications already, but I like it. It's uh, relatively pretty maneuverable. It's got good energy. Um, retention and it's got 250 cows that can hit pretty hard so let's take it out and see what we can do the map we're on is rear um, that means the ground targets be spread out a little bit we've got our stealth ammo 800 meter guard uh, targeting distance pardon me and a 26 minute load which is the minimum load for the fuel so we're going to go ahead and climb with our weapon at 30 degrees to start give us the energy advantage take a look at who's on their team just one light bomber. We've got maybe five on our side, so good chance we'll win on the ground targets. We're gonna do our usual air arcade and more or less just play defense. Um, go after which one of their team decides to go after our ground units and then we'll work our way back towards their side. So they are all lined up in a row. This is one of those times you just don't even want to dive in because you're going to end up in front of somebody who's going to shoot you. So let's let them all figure out what they want to do. Go ahead and go after the guys that are farther on our side. So we can get a few shots into this guy on our way. Okay. Teams being hard to hit. Got a few shots into them. Hopefully, get the assist. Gonna head over towards this HS 123. Just double checking, nobody's looking to dive on us. He's down. He's not coming for us. Got target in front. We just ran into a tree. Good job, buddy. Gotta love one up. Alright, let's just get a few shots into him. There we go. We're reloading. And we're just gonna kind of run parallel over our uh, ground units over here. Wait to see who wants to come over. Well, it seems like nobody wants to come over. We can just gain some altitude. It looks like TBD's coming over. Um, but you can gain some altitude and then dive in on them on their side using your energy. So if you have a lot of energy, the advantage is you can choose when to fight, you can get shots at them. And then they essentially can't chase you effectively because you just climb out and they don't have enough uh, enough energy to keep up with you. I'm going to hold off on the reload right now, see what happens with this group of three. Hg51 first. F2A after he crashed. A little bit cheap, but still counts. Um, so far we're okay over here. Just kind of wanted to reset. 
make sure we weren't putting ourselves in a bad spot. HE-51 is our first target. At least the one we're going to move towards. He's farthest on our side. Alright. T-371 looks like he might want us. Might be upset about something that happened in his past. It had to do with our bullets. Getting shot again. We can outmaneuver the 36. He's got a buddy here shooting at me too, so gotta be careful. Alright, let's go ahead and reload. I thought we had time, but that J8A is coming after us. Alright. We're good. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. Alright, so I still like this plane. We ended up with eight air kills. We got Survivor first place on the team. And let's see how we did in our mods. That's it, huh? Well, engine injection's important. We're going to go after the guns next so that we've got a... Uh, more mean time between failures just means we can keep our finger on the button and uh, keep shooting at people for longer with our guns burning out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.